All right, Draft Lottery 2013, Sam Martin Soldiers Fantasy Football League. This is year eight. Um, this is going to be kind of a process, how we do this this year. A lot of work done by Adam. Bam. Uh, defending champ. Bam. Uh, he put, there's uh, 12 envelopes in here. Each of these envelopes has a picture inside that represents the 12 members in the league. So what I'm going to do is pull them out randomly, and Adam is then going to write 12, starting with 12, down to 1 on the envelopes, and then we will open up the envelopes to show you who has what pick. So I'm just going to start pulling these things out. Episode 4, um, Season 2, <laughs> season eight and a half year hiatus. And uh, as you can see, we have all 12 of the envelopes we pulled out of the tin um, up here, taped to the wall. So what we're going to do is going to be pretty self-explanatory. Pull down the numbers starting with 12. We're going to pull out a picture. It's going to be one of us. And um, Adam put together some, some statistical records, stats, and stuff like that. So we'll try to make it somewhat entertaining. So starting off with... The number 12 overall pick. Uh, no, Pro Adam, probably going to be Brian for the fifth this time. This is uh, kind of in here pretty good, but... This yes, is, I sealed them up pretty well. This is kind of an issue. We are going to pull this <laughs> out. It is me again. <laughs> I, don't, I thought this that's, is Tim. No, that's me again. That is me again. <laughs> So that is Adam. So I'm number 12. Adam's 12th pick. Uh, Sucking a dick. Champion again. Yep. Uh, Adam. With plenty more embarrassing pictures from this same exact night. Has won two championships. He's also finished 2 and 11, which is the worst single season record of all time. That Woo! was in 2008. Uh, also finished 5 and 8 in 2006, 5 and 8 in 2009. So Adam has a tendency to be all or nothing. He has won two championships. He's also been embarrassingly bad a few times. I have. I had a couple of good picks last year. The four top ten picks. Um, I say RG3 in my bookend third round pick, my best, but also took LaShawn McCoy, number two, which is pretty bad. He finished 83rd in our league. So, number so, two pick finishing 83rd in points wise is god awful. Defending champion gets 12th pick, kind of the way things are supposed to be. Uh, so, Adam, number 12. Number 11. Let's see if I can get better at opening these envelopes. I uh, no Seal them pretty well. So I bet. I can... I didn't want us to cheat. We're not cheating. This looks like uh, Matt Dyer. No, that's Bill Carey. No, that's Bill? That is Bill Carey. Uh, the second time. <laughs> that looks like Matt. This is Bill. Number 11. Bill Carey. Bill finishing 11th wearing... Uh, what kind of hat is that? I don't Something know. Weird. I really don't know, but it is Bill. Bill, 2007 champion, so it's been six years since he's won. Um, he has finished seven and six each of the last three seasons. One, I'd say the second most average player in the league behind Adam Holmes, who's the most average fantasy sports player of all time. Um, Bill's career winning percentage, 484, 44, and 47 all time. Um, and he finished third place last season, so... Bill's well, been pretty average since we kicked things off in 2006. Absolutely. Um, no, pretty pretty standard draft for him. Two top ten picks. Peyton Manning and A.J. Green. He, he says top ten picks. He means oh, yeah. Picks. Top ten. But yeah, I should explain that. By top ten sure. at, at the position. So I do went through quarterback, wide receiver, and running back. And top players at their position. Top ten at their position. So, obviously, the more you have, the better your team looks. So. It's math. Math, baby. Number ten. Tenth pick. In this year's draft is <laughs> is going to be after I fucking mangle oh, this. Rip some of the picture. Rip the picture. That is Matt Ross. Ross. This is Matthew <laughs> Ross. I ripped his head in half, but uh, that is Ross. So far, I haven't been able to recognize any of these three people. It's kind of I fucked up all the envelopes, but um, Ross career record 46 and 45, also incredibly average. 10 and 3 the first year when he had LaDainian Tomlinson, so I don't really count that because LT was unfair that season. 
since that year, Ross has been between, then he went 3-10, and 10, some average seasons in there. Ross has never won a championship. He has been to the championship oh, so one time. He lost a title game in that aforementioned 2006 season. So Ross chasing his first title would have to do it from the dreaded 10th position, which is one of the worst picks that you can have statistically. Um, well, he had a couple of good players, but he also had a couple bad guys. He took uh, Aaron Rodgers number two overall, but he took Greg Jennings with his... You don't get credit for taking Aaron Rodgers number two overall. Hold He's on, I'm player But fantasy. he also took Alex Smith in the fourth round, too. So clearly, his... What record did he have this year? Russ went 7-6. Seven seven and six. Six. Russ has had an infatuation with, with Alex Smith since this league. <laughs> I think he has an Alex with, Alex with jersey. All right, we're moving no. things right along to the number nine selection. Um, by far my best job opening up an envelope. Absolutely. And we have uh, John Conway. Nice I also have the first time I've recognized one of these people. <laughs> Conway, going to pick nine. John, career record 43 and 48. Not so hot. Uh, but he started off 4-9 and 3-10 and the first two years. Pitiful. Seems to have picked things up along the way. His 11-2 and record in 2008. Best single season record we've ever seen. 6-7 uh, and seven last year. So John's actually finished below 500 in 5 out of the 7 seasons. Not ideal for John. He will pick 9th, which actually is the very worst you could pick. 9th pick is the worst, so congrats. He also, in 2007, has the league lowest point total for a season at 9-10. So, John, just want to let you know that. I want everyone else to know that. That's pretty shitty. And, uh, yeah, pretty bad. And I'm um, just going to point out his bad pick. He took Jay Cutler at the second pick, with his second pick. He's a good quarterback. Overall. So, smoking Jay Cutler, 23rd uh, best quarterback in our league, taking the uh, second round. So, a lot right, good. We're moving right along, and the four people here were all in the top eight picks. Um, I was kind of hoping that we actually get picks one through four, just because that would be. Um... Um, Bill and I already got picked. It. Oh yeah, you guys. I, he get picked. still doesn't recognize yeah, I don't the pictures. Recognize <laughs> don't mind me. Me and me and Brian are still here, but now uh, Brian is <laughs> getting filled what up. A wonderful picture of Brian right there. <laughs> So, Adam has a stat. Brian has not picked higher than eighth in any season now. This is his second time. He uh, picked eight in 2007. He's picked uh, tenth once, eleventh once, and twelfth four times. So, Brian uh, getting a shaft uh, with the eighth pick. It's fucking well, rigged. Much rather, uh, <laughs> much rather uh, twelve, but... Show this picture again, too. This is my favorite picture so far. It's a good one. So. He looks, a l looks slightly intoxicated. Looks a little drunk. Uh, Brian picked eight, which, for, like I said, for Brian, eight is a hell of a pick. Meaning I'm not the only one of us. Still available. Still, uh, still up for grabs. Seventh pick. I'm kind of regressing on these envelopes because um, Adam licked the shit out of them. Didn't want us to be cheating. Number seven pick is going to be. You can do it. Me. <laughs> now this picture is a gem. I don't know why I've never seen this picture before. Didn't print up too well, but please, uh, Mike, I think you uh, might remember this shirt. Can you uh, remember what that lady's shirt says? It says, fuck, fuck me now, I have no brain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we've never seen this t-shirt. <laughs> this picture ever before. While he's wearing a beaver hat, people. He's wearing a beaver hat, so. <laughs> hey, he's <laughs> I'm pretty actually disappointed that I got seventh pick. Um, uh, I would be, I would be too. All time for me, 51 and 40. That's tied for the best record in the history of the league. However, I've never turned that into a championship. I've been in the title game twice. I've lost both times. I made the playoffs six out of seven Once years. Um, consistent. I'm always in the running. This is the year I break through. But uh, haven't won yet. Uh, you, know, you have seem to have very consistent drafts. Um, what, what else pretty, would you expect? Pretty consistent, and you took Andrew Luck in the fourth round, ended up being pretty good. Ninth overall quarterback. That was a great pick. Your worst pick has got to be Deshaun Jackson in the sixth. But that, pretty, got, that was bad luck. Pretty solid draft overall, so, you know, if you keep that, you had Gronk in the second round. He got hurt. Bad luck again, you know. Bad luck. When things go, don't go my way, usually this is just bad luck. Ooh, Number six pick. I already know who it is. In the draft, looks like. Ah, oh, conspiracy. No, I can see that. You'll see why. I already know who it is. It's a double picture. So it's it's okay. Kane, it's Kane, it's Kane and Sub Zero. So um. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the team 
For those, those of you female. who don't know, Derek is going to be on a boat of some kind for most of this season. Kane is going to run, help run his team. So the Kane-Derek combination will pick sixth. Derek is one game below 500, 45 and 46. He has zero career championships. He, his worst season, he's been four and nine, and he was also four off, only five and eight last year. He has never won more than eight games, so Derek hasn't had a really great run. Derek actually hasn't even ever finished, got to the championship game. So, so bad run by Derek Kane, who last year took home spot, seven and six all time record with a uh, first round loss last season in the playoffs. So, uh, pretty average tandem. Uh, Derek had the best pick and the worst pick last year. He took uh, Michael Vick, uh, the seventh overall pick, ended at the number 60th best player in our league. And then he also, in the 10th round, though, 114 overall, took Russell Wilson. Obviously, you never know what's going to happen with rookies, but ended up being a great pick. So I give him the best and worst pick of the draft. He also uh, uh, traded away uh, Josh Freeman, who ended up getting to Tim, who helped Tim have a good season. So what Derek, else? Derek drafted Josh Freeman. That's what it says on uh, my uh, yeah, draft I sheet. So, yeah, I got hit in the so and also um, this picture, I don't know if you guys know, Derek is Sub Zero. He's also been Anakin Skywalker for Halloween. So cut it with the crappy, crappy Halloween thing. Derek also the only person in our league to be married, and the only person in our league to be divorced. Hey, there it is. But Hoff's married now. So, um, fuck. <laughs> also, uh, a little first fun, person to be married. Little fun fact, and uh, he took. He was the very first person ever to pick in our league. Back in 2006, and he took um, Larry Johnson, the first pick ever in our league. So, uh, <laughs> good pick. Also, also, fun fact about that is uh, 11 uh, running backs taken in the first round. Um, Rudy and, Johnson, uh, Lamar Jordan, <laughs> Willie Parker, Cadillac. Couple of, Cadillac couple of Williams. Williams. So, Maybe Adrian Peterson was around back then. I don't think so. No. <laughs> All right, number five. <laughs> number five pick. We got Matt, Tim, Hoff. Holmesy, I believe, and Pete left, so... And, uh, Pete comes out. Peter Reno. Pete, Peter Reno. <laughs> our host. <laughs> our host for their, uh, our draft. <laughs> Who will be, uh, hosting the draft. Pete is, uh, is, has had a bad run in this league. He's, he's 15 games below 500. Uh, won the title in 2006. Then Pete started with a, with a seven and six run. He embarked on a four year run where he didn't make the playoffs one single time. Now, just to put that in perspective, you have a 67 percent chance of making the playoffs each season. So, doing the math out, that means it's about a four percent chance that you could actually miss the playoffs four straight years because when you keep dividing that, you know, 67 percent down, down, down. Um, it's hard to do. Pete pulled it off. He did bounce back. He went 10-3 in 2011 before missing the playoffs again last year. Um, so Pete's only been in the playoffs twice in seven seasons, but he does have a title, so he's kind of like the reverse of me. He's not usually in it, but if he is, he, uh, he, he's, he's, he's won the ring. I can't say I have so. Well, Pete, uh, don't draft the Houston Texans again. So was, how about we don't do that? And also, you uh, drafted Aaron Andes, so you drafted the Texans and Murderers. So, you know, why don't we go with a different strategy this year? Maybe a 5-8 and eight record will not happen again, so. Maybe 3-10, he, uh, he went 3-10 in 2009. He did, but, you know. Number four pick in the 2013 Sam Martin Soldiers draft. This one is fucking <laughs> completely licked shut. Matt Dyer is going to pick fourth. Matt Dyer picking fourth. Matt's had some really high picks in this. I, I just know that off the top of my head. His overall record is good. It's 50 and 40, uh, 41, which is only one game off the best record, which is me and off split at 51 and 40. But just like me, Matt has never won a championship. He's actually never finished first. He's never finished second. He's never finished third. He always makes the playoffs. Oh, he's knocked out in round one. Uh, I think he actually. He went 5-8 and eight one year. He might not have made the playoffs in 2010. But every other year I know he has made it. But uh, he's one of the worst playoff performing. You know, you'll see. He's kind of like the, the 90s Braves minus the one championship. If I had to describe him. He took Eli Manning first overall. I mean, eighth pick in his first round. So that wasn't too good of a pick. MJD got hurt. 
But made a trade, got Wes Welker, and uh, made the playoffs. But we got knocked out in the first round. Got knocked out in the first round. So. All right, so we have three people left. Um, who is it? We have... We have John... Uh, no, not John. We have... Um, it will be... Tim. Um, I don't know who else. Hoff. 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 And somebody else. Tim. Hoff. Holmesy. And Holmesy. And Holmesy. Holmesy. So down to the final three. Holmes took a year off last year. Let's see if he uh, ends up getting blessed with the number one pick. As he returns. Alright, doing a good job opening up this one. Number three overall pick, Mr. California, Dan Hoffman, who is married. Uh, I know because I, I did attend that wedding, <laughs> but I forgot about it because, you know. He was a little intoxicated. It's, it's just what happens. But Dan, making third. Dan gets the honor of being the best in our league so far. He has two titles, which is tied with Adam for the most, but his regular season record is a lot better. He's been to the championship game uh, three or four times. Uh, three times, and he's been... No, he's been four times. Two four times, times losing, twice winning. Four times. Four-time AFC champion, two-time overall champ, uh, tied with me, 51-40, and 40, best winning percentage. So Dan does well in this in this fantasy football thing. He made, uh, made the AFC championship game five straight years, and then came dead last last year, so... Dan, hey, down season, a bad so, season. So that just means he's gonna have to turn it around and. Uh, his, mind, his mind was clearly on his wedding <laughs> that he was about to have. And he also drafted in California last year, so I'm hoping for another bad, bad year. California's bad luck for Dan. Now, um, normally what we do, right, the number two pick, we don't want to lose the excitement of the number one pick. So our two people left are Holmes and Tim. Holmes and Tim. Um, to pick, we're gonna pick out whoever's number one. First, and to do that, we're gonna have a special guest. Uh, that was my phone, guys. Don't worry. About it. Um, <laughs> number one to, like to, we're to, to pick the number one <laughs> pick is we Bill Carey, special guest. He's been on every Die on Fire episode we've had. Uh, number three all time yeah. score. And then three. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You're gonna kill it. Yeah, a couple other guys. So, uh, but still, um, four for four in Die on Fire though. He's been, he's the only person who's been on every Die on Fire besides me. <laughs> no, one, no, no one can break that record. <laughs> As a guest. As a guest. No one can break the guest record on Dire and Fire. So the number one pick in the 2013 Sam Martin's Soldiers yeah. draft is Tim Woodbury. Tim Woodbury. We got Woody. It's going to be number one. I feel like, did he just get number one pick? Or? Uh, he did get number one last year. So we have number one and 12 the same uh, two years in a row. So. Oh, shit. So Tim gets number one. We can open this one up, and it's going to be, who do you say? Holmes. Holmes is going to pick second in his return to the league. Sat out last year when Kane took his place. Uh, just giving you a few numbers on these guys. Tim, the only guy with a worse record than Pete. He is 32 and 46. Remember, Tim joined the league in 07. Anthony Garofalo was in the league in 2006. Tim took his spot. He has made the playoffs twice, including last year, though, when he set an all-time points record. He did lead an all-time points leader with 15.52. 15.52. Holmes, on the other hand, I always like talking about Holmes and fantasy because he is the most average fantasy player in the world. Just to break that down a little bit more specifically, Adam Holmes, first season, 5-8. and eight. Since then, 6-7, 7-6, 7-6, 7-6, 8-5. and, seven, seven and, six, seven and, six, seven and, six, eight and five. He is right at 500 every year. He does the same thing in baseball. Finishes in 8th or 7th place. <laughs> he gets knocked out in the first round of playoffs, usually by me. So he's one of my favorite people we have in the fantasy league. He's always competitive, but he ends up just kind of donating money. He's, yeah. never, he's never gotten a dollar, and I don't think in any of the leagues he's ever been. So. I also don't think he, obviously he didn't have a pick last year, but uh, I believe his top pick la in 2011 was uh, Michael Vick. Uh, you know, solid pick. Better than John's uh, Matt Ryan at number 2 overall, so... In case anybody forgot that, John did take Matt Ryan, number two overall. <laughs> so that's, two that's overall. going to do it for the draft lottery this year. Uh, we're going to see all you guys Sunday, August 25th, 11.30 a.m. at Pete's house. So be there. Dan's going to be via the web. Everyone else is scheduled to make it, so it's going to be a good time. This is year eight. It's crazy. It's the longest fantasy football league I really right. know of. That's all I know. And um, just... Going back, 2006 champ Pete, 2007 Bill, 2008 Dan, 2009 Brian, 2010 Adam, 2011 Dan, 2012 Adam. So that's the history. Um, Going back to back. 2013. Early 2000s Patriots. 
There's no chance Wayne wins this year. He's win, an average. Lose, win, win. That's what's gonna happen. His overall record is below 500. He's due for like a two and 11 season this year. Okay. So we're gonna one sign game, off. One game. We'll sign one off, game. off um, and we'll see all you guys soon.